In this screencast, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Peng Robinson binary interaction parameter. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to illustrate it with the methane propane system. And what I've got here is at different temperatures, I've got the binary interaction parameter that's been determined. Now these values have come from this book here, vapor liquid equilibrium data at high pressure. And each binary interaction parameter has been determined by fitting data, by regressing data to the vapor liquid equilibrium data at each particular temperature. So for minus 115 degrees C, there's a whole series of uh, pressure, mole fraction in the vapor, mole fraction in the liquid phase data. And then that data has been fitted to um, to determine the interaction parameter. Now we've got all of these different parameters versus temperature, and if we plot these out, binary interaction parameter versus temperature, we'll see that it follows this quadratic behavior here. And you often see this uh, quadratic behavior in the temperature dependence of the binary interaction parameter. So then you can fit uh, a quadratic equation to those values. That's what I've done here using Linest. And then for a particular temperature that you're interested in, then you can calculate, using this quadratic, you can calculate the value of the, the binary interaction parameter for that particular binary at that particular temperature. So that's what I've done here, and that can then be used for calculating the average co-volume, the average attraction parameter for a mixture. And that's useful for vapor-liquid equilibrium, it's useful for all sorts of different things where you want to use the Peng Robinson mixing rules. So overall that is just a brief discussion about the binary interaction parameter, uh, where you can get them from and the temperature dependence.